hi all uh, good evening so in this tutorial i am going to explain you about how to create a pr pipeline pr pipeline i mean pull request pipeline so what do you mean pull request pipeline so assume you have a master branch so you have some code base so there is a master branch so you created one branch on top of master that is your dev branch or any other branch send you do some changes so after doing changes you are going to raise pr to that branch right so whenever you raise pr to master branch you cannot directly merge it so you have to run some unit test cases right you have to some uh, you have to run some unit test cases so once that unit test case is going to pass or some integration test going to pass so you will going to update the status whether uh, all the unit test cases passed or there are any failures you will going to update that status in the github how you going to automate all these things yes we can automate all these things so using concourse so in this tutorial i'm going to explain you how to create pull request pipeline let's see how to write uh, yaml code now yeah. so guys so i have already uh, created a pipeline code for this one so I will quickly go through this pipeline code now. Yeah. So the link of this uh, code is uh, specified in the description of the video. Please uh, go to the description. So I will just explain you what this code is going to do. So in the earlier video, probably you people are comfortable about the resource thing, the sources we have used. So in this tutorial, I'm using a one more concept called resource types. What do you mean resource types? Resource types is something like, uh, so it's like plugin. So someone created some library or plugin outside. You have to make use of that plugin in your concourse uh, pipeline. So if you want to use like that, then you can, you have to specify something called the resource types. Like earlier, we specified something like uh, type is equal to kit. If you see uh, earlier pipeline, we, I was using like something like that. Now I am using type is equal to pull request. What is this type? That is pull request. So, so what is this one? Tell you something about GitHub. This is created by some good person. So you just type like this. Concourse resources in the Google. Then, then you can see something like this. Yeah. So this guy somewhere is, is created this uh, resources. That is a PR resources. You can make use of this resource. How to create this resources? This concourse resource you can create by using the Go language. So a lot of options are available. So if you just go through this thing, then you understand how to use uh, this uh, what we call this resources in our pipeline. So I also specified this link in the description. Please go through that one if you want more information, or if you just want to automate only PR pipeline, you can just use like this so once you use it so this is our uh, repository name that is maybe one examples i'm using and the type is equal to pr and check every 10 seconds what do you mean check every 10 seconds 10 second means like a polling to your repository so you want your pr pipeline to poll to your repository right so where i raise a pr so how your pipeline will come to know that you have raised a pr so I have my pipeline has to keep pulling my repositories. So I'm just specifying it as a 10 seconds. You can specify whatever the time you want. Um, you can specify one second, 10 seconds, one minute, two minutes, 10 minutes. 10 minutes means only after 10 minutes, you're going to pull to your repository for every 10 minutes. 10 seconds for every 10 seconds, you're going to pull to your repository. Recommended is it's better to specify at least one minute or five minutes because it is going to consume resources, right? So you should not keep simply pulling to repositories. So just for demo purpose, I'm using 10 seconds. Uh, it's better you increase this time in your uh, real time examples. So this is the repository name. Prediction and fame even examples. What is this one? Where is this one? Let's show me this one. Uh, not here. Second. Where is that one? Repositories. Maven examples. I have specified this link also in the uh, the what in the description section. Please double check that one. Uh, yeah, 
so this is some uh, preksha 95 and may 1 examples this is our uh, repository link name right that is what i have specified here and then access token what do we mean access token github has a concept like access token you have to create like uh, why access token is required so whenever you clone your repository or whenever you uh, what we call uh, when you want to clone or you want to automate this clone you usually use tokens to clone the things so you can specify you have to create tokens so in this tutorial i'm going to explain you about how to create this token also it's just a very, very simple thing just go to your uh, uh, settings tab where you can see developer settings this one hope you got, hope you guys are following me and then go to this personal access token and actually i have created one you can create a new generate new token like this and then you have to give some name whatever name you want like a uh, token uh, simple token simple pr yeah, simple token like this and then it's better uh, what uh, what i'm recommending is uh, just give options all the just check all the check boxes because uh, uh, you will understand uh, what, what type of token you want whether if you want just read token or write token because in our pipeline we will going to update the status we will going to read the repository so read uh, should be enabled and also we will going to update the things that's why it's just bet better you uh, do all these things check all the things and you just create this generate token so guys one more thing actually i'm going to uh, delete my token so it's better you guys uh, don't uh, use the same token because i'm going to delete this token because this is my repository right i cannot give my token to everyone just for demo purpose i'm showing you so i'm going to delete this one hope all you guys have github access github accounts just clone the uh, uh, what uh, projects from my uh, github and uh, push it to your uh, what to your github and then generate token of your choice okay got it hope you guys are following me so that is what this app github access token you have to specify this uh, while flying the pipeline i will tell you so all these things you know that is name job get may one yeah this one guys so earlier we were just using trigger so what do you mean trigger is equal to true trigger is equal to true means uh, this is a may one example right this is a pro repository so so i am going to uh, trigger true so whenever it means whenever someone raises a pr so i am going to check that one if pr is raised i am going to automatically trigger this one trigger the pipeline that is known as trigger true version is equal to every <coughs> because there are different types of versions if you see uh, uh, this guy's uh, version here is specify version right yeah he is telling what you mean versions version means there it could be anything it can it could be like a pr commit committed anything so there is better to specify every now so uh, if you want more information we can see all these things in the coming videos but it's better to use only every okay now uh what do you mean put may one uh this one put means uh so you want to put resource somewhere put resource somewhere uh suppose assume your pr pipeline is running so you have to specify some status in the github right uh, i will you will uh, i will come to i will come to this part whenever i fly the pipeline you will then you will understand it better so you have to specify some status like pending pending means it's running it's running something is running so how you going to uh, tell someone that your pr paper pr is running wait for some time uh, to get the status of this so you have to specify something right in the github ui it's known as pending uh, this is a path path means path to your repository hope you people are understanding what i'm explaining so all these things remain same and same as earlier pipelines and i don't want don't want to uh, explain the same thing again so don't worry much about all these things yeah coming to this part so what is mean by this one so i have added new section called on success on failure one of my on success on success means on success of all the uh, on success of this job uh, assume all the unit is passed or build is passed everything is passed yeah so 
what is this uh, on success and on failure on success is on success of the, our pipeline so we want to uh, update the status saying success in the github ui on failure of our pipeline you have to specify the status as failure in the github ui that is why this on success and on failure is used so i will come back to this uh, once we run our pipeline so you will understand it in a better way let's fly the our pipeline once uh, where is our pipeline uh, this is a pr pipeline right Mm, already I did trial and error on all these things it was working fine so, so yeah I have specified all these comments in the description section just go through it if you have been issues there so we had to unpause the pipeline so one more thing guys sorry I had didn't explain this part so what is this cluster.ml because uh, you you saw the thing right so in the pipeline if you see so you have something like called uh, what is called so github access token right so you cannot directly check in all your credentials informations in the code in the pipeline code you have to maintain all these things in some credentials file at the runtime you have to load all these things right for that i am using like this let me see what's there in this cluster table so it's nothing guys this github access token that is a variable that i have used in pipeline and this is the token that i have generated Hope you guys following the video properly. Uh, yeah, pipeline is slight, but the thing is, it's asking us to unpause the pipeline. So unpause command is just you had to remove everything and had to use Rupee unpause pipeline. I specify all these things in the description section. Just check it if you are pay, feeling any confusions. There. See, let's see whether our pipeline is coming here. Yeah, it's there, right? So it didn't get triggered. I don't want to click plus. I don't want to because it's a PR pipeline. It has to run automatically on rising PR to our repository. This is the master branch. Right? I am going to create one more branch called uh, uh, PR test one branch. Get check out that's a command right. Check out minus P PR test. Yeah, it hit new branch. Let me check in something. I'm going to open the readme file. So adding changes one adding the objects. Fine right. Get and So here is the PR. Let's see whether yeah PR is right there. See guys, this pipeline is not triggered. It is automatically going to trigger by itself. So one more thing I actually I forgotten to explain. Uh, not forgotten to explain. So if you see this PR pipeline, what I did is so instead of maven install i have commented with this part because it takes around 5 to 10 minutes right so i don't want to spend that much time so i just commented out this part because i just am doing some demo so in real time example you guys uh, just uncomment and run proper unit test cases here so just for demo purpose i am just giving some uh, sleepy second 20 seconds because uh, i don't want this pipeline to keep running and i don't want to boot off your uh, Time. Okay, so so I'm going to see. It's st before still I didn't start. Uh, now only it's telling. Uh, okay, can't automatically merge. Don't worry, you can still create a pull request. I'll uh, just the PR. Uh, some merge conflict is there. Uh, what is this? Shit, 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 shit. Someone's conflict is there. Let me remove that one. 
to this for this call to resolve yeah. so uh, happen hey the automatic word trigger yeah it now triggered second pr right so first pr there was some uh, merge conflict it automatically failed see guys how our pipeline is set automatic got failed because uh, there is some issue let's wait so we are just sleeping for some 20 seconds just to add wait so till if you see here so we got new status here something like uh, it's not directly allowing you to merge uh, <coughs> because uh, some concourse hook is blocking us from merging this directly because it's uh, some unit test cases are running here something is running actually i'm not running any unit test case here i'm just sleeping for some time this pipeline is running so it's telling like status is pending pending status you are asking like what is this pending status where is that pending pending this one so this one is this one pending hope you guys are understanding now so once everything is done on success it is going to tell pipeline is success just wait still uh, uh, downloading the image uh, if in between if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe so i think this is an important uh, video guys uh, don't miss this one because uh, this tells uh, what you call uh, continuous integration how powerful we can automate the continuous integration thing we can run unit, unit test cases integration test cases service integration test cases anything in uh, this pipeline just you have to set up it properly because i have set up all these things in our low in my local it takes some time because it's a little slow my system don't have proper hardware there's a problem with me so <laughs> it's recording <laughs> just check it whether it's recording or not yeah so now pipeline is gonna actually i paused the video recording because it took almost five minutes right that's why i just paused the video so the pipeline is gonna let's see what is the status of our oh <laughs> guys if you see the the merge button is green now it's telling successful and all the checks are passed this is what you have specified right on success of this thing tell the status as success yeah guys so that is what our pr pipeline is so i have specified pipeline code the code uh, link everything in the uh, description section please check it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe now thank you all